In this video, what we're going to be talking about is why I've been meditating every single day for the last three years and how this had a massive shift on my experience of life and how everything began to completely change when I started doing this habit every single day. So when I started meditating every single day three years ago, what I learned is how to observe my thoughts rather than be attached to them and be absorbed into my thinking without realizing it. Because what I found was that before I started meditating every single day, I would actually be absorbed into my thinking without even realize that I'm doing this. I would absorb myself into the future and into the past and I'd be living my life from a place of being very attached to the thinking that is going on in my head without even realizing it. So that's the key thing right there is that I was completely unconscious of myself being projected into the future and into the past. And that's who I thought was me, that I'm just, that's just who I am. I'm projecting myself into the future, into the past. And I have to live my life in all this fear. But then when I started meditating every single day, what I found is that I can actually observe my thoughts without thinking about them. And that every single thought is actually neutral. And that a lot of these thoughts, actually I was creating lots of meaning to these thoughts. And it was taking me away from the beauty and the aliveness and the depth of the moment. And that these thoughts had almost like a pull that were almost absorbing me, making my life a lot worse. Because what I found is that when I wasn't in observation mode of my thinking, I was actually very sucked in and absorbed into my thinking. And that while I would be absorbed in my thinking, this is where all the anxiety and the fear and the worry would truly be coming from. And I didn't even realize this was happening. So when I started meditating every single day for three years straight, it's been like three years now, I think it's always been four at this point, I'm getting better and better at observing my thinking and not taking it so seriously and then connecting myself deeper into the moment where as I observe my thinking, I actually let go of a lot of the compulsive negative thinking of projecting myself into the past and into the future and just enjoy being here right now. Just enjoying the moment as it is right here, right now, finding the beauty and the aliveness and the depth of everything that is happening without actually thinking about it, without actually overthinking because the one reason that I meditate the most is to stop all this compulsive thinking that was going on in the back of my head without me realizing it. And so the more I go deeper into the moment, the more all that extra unnecessary thinking goes completely away. It's almost like all that anxiety, fear, and worry is just dissolving more and more and more every single day as I follow my life purpose, as I go deeper into the moment, as I continue helping people, making these videos. It's almost like the, all that fear is just totally dissolving more and more and more. And that as I go deeper into the moment, my fear lessens and lessens and lessens. And so that's why I meditate every single day because what's going on is that I don't want to be living my life in the unconscious thought patterns of my mind. I want to be living my life right here, right now. And I don't want to be being, I don't want to be controlled by these unconscious thought patterns in my head that really are controlling me without me realizing it, unless I'm conscious of it. Because when Eckhart Tolle uses the word ego, what I found in my life is that the ego is only controlling me. So my thoughts in my head are only controlling me when I do not have awareness or observation of them. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. The ego is only controlling your life, which is the unconscious thought patterns. The ego is only controlling your life when you are unaware or have a lack of observation of the thought patterns that are going on in your head. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that when you don't realize the thoughts that you're thinking, they're still there. And those patterns of thinking are controlling the actions that you take, the decisions that you're making, the relationships that you choose, the people that you connect with. And you're making those decisions based on a foundation of fear that is unconsciously happening in the background of your mind because you're either projecting yourself into the future or into the past. And so that's the thing is that I don't want to live my life that way. And as I meditate deeper, I, it's almost like I'm letting go of the ego. And when I say ego, I'm talking about the unconscious thought patterns. And so that's I, I could say that's make it a little bit easier for you to understand is that as I go deeper into the moment, meditate more every single day, stay consistent with that habit, I go deeper into the moment and then the, the unconscious thought patterns don't control me as much. I find the beauty and the depth and the aliveness of the moment right here, right now. Because here's the thing, a lot of us are projecting ourselves into the future 
and into the past, and we don't necessarily realize that we're doing this. We may be unconscious of the fact that we're projecting ourselves into the future and into the past. And this may be creating a lot of anxiety, fear, and worry that doesn't need to be there. And as you meditate more and more and learn to connect yourself, not only meditate every single day, but then incorporate that in your daily life, living from that place of presence. As you do this, you're going to stop living in the past, stop living in the future, and connect deeply to the moment of what is happening right now. And then as you connect to what is happening right here, right now, those projections will lessen down. It will, you will stop taking them so seriously. As you become aware of them and stop taking them so seriously, they will also lessen down and you will stop thinking entirely. Not 100%, but your thinking will lessen down significantly to the point where you will have many glimpses in your day where you're living in presence. Okay, because here's the thing though, is that as you connect deeper to the moment and get glimpses of presence, what you'll find is that you're living in your head most of the day. And then you may get occasional glimpses of being present to the moment as you meditate. But then what I found in my experience is that at first I was living in my head and I would occasionally get glimpses of being present. But then what I realized is something extremely significant is that I don't need to be getting glimpses of presence. I can actually, instead of just being in my head most of the day and then getting glimpses of presence, I can actually live in presence and then occasionally use the thinking in my mind as a tool when necessary to accomplish tasks. So you can actually live from that place of presence 90% of the day and then use the thinking only when you need. So rather than being in your head all day and then occasionally going to the moment, you can always be in the moment and then occasionally go to your head. That is why I meditate every single day. So if you like this kind of content and consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell for the videos that I post every single day, if you want to truly get out of your head and connect deeper into the moment, stop that anxiety, stop that worry, connect deeper into the moment, or just go deeper into the moment, you're already doing this, you just want to go a little bit deeper, then consider hitting that uh, website link in the description and apply for a free consultation. Have yourself a great day and see you in the next video.